Can a single vote make a difference? Or is it just a drop in the ocean? Well, Thomas Jefferson won the presidency by one vote after a tie in the Electoral College. And conversely, in 1876, Samuel Tilden won the popular vote, but lost to President Rutherford B. Hayes by one electoral vote. And Andrew Jackson won the popular vote in 1824, but lost by one vote in the House to John Quincy Adams. In 1962, governors of Maine, Rhode Island, and North Dakota all won by an average of one vote per precinct. And the Vermont State House race of 1977, won by Robert Emmond, had a final vote count of 572 to 571. We saw Senator John McCain on July 27, 2017, heroically save the Affordable Care Act by using his one vote to break a tie that would have repealed Obamacare. But my favorite one vote wonder was in the Tennessee House of Representatives 100 years ago, when at the urging of his mother, Harry T. Byrne broke the tie by voting in favor of the 19th Amendment, successfully ending a 70-year struggle to allow women the right to vote in our country. So never wonder if your vote makes a difference. It certainly does. Scores of stories like these answer that question with a loud and clear, yes, it does. Now, make sure that you and your friends are registered, and when you get your mail-in ballots, use your paper voice.